Hi, my name is Agatha and you are highly welcome to my YouTube channel if this is your first time here. This video is about Final Cut Pro X, how to edit using Final Cut Pro X. And if you're new to Final Cut Pro X, if you're a beginner, that have been asking questions, how do I edit using Final Cut Pro X? Now, this is the video for you. I'm going to be taking you through the basic things you need to know about Final Cut Pro. So, my dear, keep watching. So first, what I'm doing is I'm going to my application and I'm going to click on Final Cut Pro and this pops up and then we double tap on it. And my Final Cut Pro is open. So next, I'm going to click on File and New, then Project. So that brings us to this place. I'm going to rename this project and I'm going to be naming it YouTube short beauty video that's i want to um edit a short so i'm just going to name this as youtube short beauty video i filmed this video in 4k but i'm going to be putting it at custom then youtube short resolution is 1080 by 1920 and i filmed this in 23.98 frames per second so that's correct and in standard rig 709 so this too is correct so then i just go through again and i click on ok so yeah it brings out this vertical layout for my work then i go to the import arrow and i save this in my memory card type named on title so i'll click on that and we are on the memory card and I'm just going to go down to the clip that I want to edit. And you can only select one clip at a time to import. So I click on import selected. Then that brings us back here. So I'm just going to click on it and drag and drop it to my timeline. So this is where I'm going to be editing. This is where I'm going to be doing all my cuts and join. So... I'm going to click on import again and I'm going to import the last clip that I want to add to this. And I click on import selected. So I'm just going to search for that and I'll do the same thing. Drag and drop on the timeline. Yeah. So let's go on. You can see right now that um, the layout is not perfect yet. There are two ways to do this. You can either click on um, the transform tool and expand then drag it to the perfect location you want it to be this is one of the steps you can use and deselect that or you can use the other you can see that it's not perfect um half of my body is outside in some part of the clip it's out of frame in some part of the clip um i can't keep doing this so um i'm just going to go again and use the next step that's the step that is preferable so what i'm going to do now is to go i'm going to i'm just um clearing that that doesn't matter so i'm just going to go up screw up and i'm going to click on the file that we are working on the file name is YouTube Short Beauty Video. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to double click on, right click on that. And I will click on duplicate project as. Then I'm going to rename this YouTube Short Beauty Video 1. Or YouTube Short Video 2. Then I'll do this, click on custom. And I'm going to check that box marked confirm. Then I put the resolution 1018 by 1920 the frames per second is correct standard reg 709 so we are good to go then i click on ok so this is going to analyze and this is going to just take less than a minute literally it uh took um about three seconds yeah so we're back here and we double click on the YouTube short beauty, beauty video too. When you double click, you can see that it has done the work for you. You do not need to do any other thing. Final Cut Pro have just did everything for you. It has um, adjusted the clip to the right position and everything is in place. So this basically here, when you click on B, this scissor 
um tool comes out then you can cut the part which you don't want in the video just click on your timeline then i cut i clicked on selected that by clicking a then i deleted that pardon me this is my first time doing a voiceover <laughs> okay so let's carry on next uh i'm just doing the same thing dragging to the position where i want because that place wasn't in frame properly so i deselected the reform tool then i'm going through to see if my video is all right then i clicked b and the scissor tool came out so i selected the part i don't want by clicking a then i just went through again that's basically it i'm just doing the same thing over and over again till i am okay with what i have so if you want to see if you want to um add transitions you click on the transition tool which i just did and these are the various transitions that are in there um this cross dissolve i think i like cross dissolve so i'm just going to place that in between the two um clips that will be the transition that will um take this clip into the other clip so i'm just going to play it through and see what it looks like i'll cut that part out because i don't really like it it's like it's taking too much time i just need something really short and i'm going to play that again and see yeah so that transition works so yeah that's basically and then i selected all by con um, clicking on ctrl a then i took down the volume from the volume bar then all the f um all the clips the volume is out from all the clips i just i want to add my music later on the um app on the app that i'm going to upload this video so i just went through over and over again and i think i'm satisfied with it i am not mad at this so next i am going to this bar right here this bar right here is for my color grading so i'm just going to type in sharpen and i'll select sharpen there and drag and drop it to the clip i want to sharpen you can only do this one at a time that's by dragging and dropping on each clip you have or you can do all you need to do on one clip add sharpen cross contrast and all then you save it by clicking on um save effect i'm going to show you that so right now i'm just typing in the amount i want in my in, in my sharpen <laughs> sorry i'm just typing in the amount i want the intensity of the sharpness i want so i think 2.5 is good okay then i am good with that so next what i'll be doing is i'm going to then type in creep creeps contrast <laughs> oh my god that was hard to pronounce okay i'm just going to uh drag and drop that to one of my clips and i know that looks like horrible right now but i'm just going to take it down i'm going to take it down to three and i think yeah i am okay with that then i will do the same thing to the other clip i'm going to take it down to theory two and yeah i think i am okay with that then next i'm going to type and go to saturation by clicking on the color board icon then i'm going to raise my mid-tones to about 18 this to add saturation to my mid-tones shadow and highlight i am not a pro in um color grading i just do what i think is good for my video so next i'm just going through um i'm deselecting that so i'm going to add vibrance to this um video i'm just checking the exposure right now but i am actually okay with this with the exposure of this video so i don't think i need to do anything at the exposure i'm just going to type in vibrant and um click and drag and drop that's basically that and when i go to this um, movie icon right here the movie icon brings out everything that is in the video 
you everything you've added in the video is right there you can see everything you need to see that you have added to the video so i'm going to click on save effects and i'm going to rename this um i think i want to name it um fine f c p x that's um final cut pro x so i will rename this beauty then i'm going to uncheck the bosses of what i have already added to the other clip because i don't need to add them again so i'm going to um save this then i'm going to go back to this place right here and i will type in beauty then what i saved pops up then i'll click drag and drop on the clip that i want to add it to so you can see that the same effects that i added to the first clip they are now on the second clip so you can see all of them on this um uh, on the movie icon under the movie icon so i'm just going through to see my video so to expand this video to see this video that i am editing in a full frame i'm just going to click on that arrow and it expands and i am watching this on a full frame so to go back to final cut pro x page i'm going to click on the same arrow in opposite or um opposite directions facing each other i'm going to click on it and it brings us back to the final cut um, pro page so yeah i'm going to be exporting this video i'm going to click on file click on share then go to export file default then yeah the name is correct and you want to make sure that you, the setting for this video is an mp4 and um you have it in h.264 better quality computer everything is correct so i go back and i click on next and then this pops up so i'm just going to select where i want to save it to i want to save it to downloads and the name is there if you want to change the name you can also change them then i click on save and so i'm going to wait for this to render you can see that icon right there loading yes that's it rendering that's the video rendering so we're just going to wait for it till it's done yeah so now it's done and share successful pops up and i play it it's already in my downloads and what i'm going to be doing is i want to airdrop this to my phone i click on the icon airdrop because i use an iphone so it's easy for me to share I drop it to my phone so nick has iphone then sent and that's basically what you need to know yeah so guys those are the basic things that you need to know when editing using final cut pro x you can basically use whatever you've learned now to edit your youtube shot your tiktok your youtube videos like a long one and you can also use it to edit your instagram reels so if you have any question please do not forget to leave it in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer you see you in my next one i love you